Oh my god, I'm tired of trying to get like composure. But hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome, ways alone, I'll cry on a I really wanted to twerk with this part, but I guess it's not gonna happen. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I color and care for my short hair. Basically, short natural hair. I mean, I still qualify for their natural hair. So if you, if that is the type of video you want to see, or I mean, if this video is something that you want to see, then definitely stay through. Don't go nowhere. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and turn on the bell button so you're notified whenever a new video comes up and without further ado let's go so usually every time because yes <laughs> usually every time before i go in to color my hair i do i get a fresh cut i go to the barbers andrew shout out to andrew she's my barber shout out to andrew She's my baba. I hope you guys get it. And she takes care of my hair and makes sure that I get like a clean haircut and all of that stuff. And then I come home and then I color it myself. And usually it's not safe to, I mean, I don't say it's not safe to color yourself, but if you're going to use like a bleach or anything that is like professional tools please be careful i'm not like a proper i i don't know anything about hair i didn't go to any hair school this is everything that i've been learning by myself watching videos on youtube and just trying to master at home and trust me i have failed several times trying to color my hair by myself at home especially using the same dye that i'm going to use today you know so to be able to get the color that i have on right now which isn't actually the color that I'm supposed to have but I still love it anyways but the main idea was to get like a honey blonde situation and it didn't happen I ended up getting like a proper yellow blonde I'm pretty sure you guys saw on my social media platform if you don't follow me on Instagram please do that <laughs> follow me on Instagram at Akosia Bene and so so yeah um, what was I even saying my mind is blank i swear <laughs> so like i was saying i got a color that i ended up loving anyways and you guys also gave me like really positive vibes on that color so i thought that i'd keep it so this is my second time that i'm going to it's not my second time that i'm going to dye my hair but it's my second time that i'm actually going to add more color so in so doing this is the hair dye that i use this is the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color. This is this particular one is in the shade Dark Ash Blonde. And it's because I don't want to go like proper, 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 proper blonde. Because that wasn't the intention anyways. I wanted to go honey blonde. And like look like melanin, like my skin type of. That's what I wanted to get. So, you know. But that didn't happen. So today we're going to do that. Enough of the talk talk. So I'll be running you guys through what products that I use, what shampoo that I use, what conditioner that I use, and at the end of the day, what oil that I use for my hair. I don't use so many things for my hair. I'm not like a top top natural hair person. I not the type that care. I will say that I'm not the type that cares about my hair so much. Don't quote me on that. I'm just trying to say that I'm not the type that would take like my whole, I don't like to pay so much attention to my hair. I don't want to wake up in the morning and think, what am I doing to my hair? What do I do? I don't like that. I don't like stress, you know. <laughs> I just don't like stress. So I'd rather, and I've always been a short hair person like for the longest time. For like the longest time. Plus it just makes sense to be short hair. <laughs> so it comes with a color developer. And this is the color, basically. This is the color. And then it comes with an after conditioner. And then it comes with a manual, like an instructions leaflet. 
And it comes with gloves as well if you're wondering. See, it has the gloves inside. So I sort of know my way through it, but for the video purposes, I will still read this through so you guys, you guys know how to go about it. So you put on your gloves and then you take this, you cut, I mean, you don't first cut it off, but you take off, I mean, you take this off and then you pour the color into this bottle and then you close this back, you shake it try to shake it as much as possible but one thing though i'm sorry that i'm not going to show my face through this part but one thing that i do to protect my edges is that i put i put vaseline or in couteau if i have in couteau around i use in couteau any form of like hair protecting oil that you know that is good if you think that your hair is as like soft or as fragile please use that to protect your hairline so that you're safe so after you shake that, then if you have like a lot of hair, you part it into four sections and then just so you can have an even distribution. But if your hair is a lot, just one bottle will not be enough for you to clean up. It won't be enough for you. So I'd say get like four or five bottles of this. Plus it's not so expensive. It's like $3. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Then you leave it on, you leave it on for 25 minutes, depending on how much color you want and yeah so me i leave it on as long as i feel like i have the color that i want so just like i said so we're gonna do that So I pour it on my, my, my palm, basically, or I pour it in my hand so I can be able to apply it. And I don't have any formula because my hair is short. It's short as hell. So I just go in and apply it. I'm pretty sure you guys. And I'm, I'm doing this because some parts of my hair obviously didn't get the dye from my previous my previous coloring section se session <laughs> session so i am just trying to even out the color and i'm changing the color as well so hopefully hopefully i get i get what i want Okay guys, so we have the color on now. So like I said before, this is a dark ash blonde, dark ash blonde. So look at the color that we have here. So it's not so different from what I had on before. So it's just like to lighten up a little bit, just like a little bit. So I'm going to leave this on for like I said before, I'm going to leave it on for as much as I think that uh, I have achieved the color. Color ni by nafa. Then I'll come back and then I'll show you guys. And then we'll, I'll show you guys what products that I use to wash it out and all of that stuff. So yeah. 25 minutes. Okay. So... So it's actually like a honey blonde situation basically the color that i wanted to achieve when i was first dyeing my hair this is it let me wash this off and i'll come back and show you guys so do you guys see so because my hair was like 
proper proper blonde it's the ash blonde dark ash blonde made a proper dark ash blonde which is almost like the color that i wanted to achieve when i was first dyeing my hair so you can see and it has like really little it has little highlights to it so now to my hair to the hair care part of the video the first part is the coloring of the video and that's done now to the hair care part the product that i've been loving for my hair i've been using these products for i can say for like five months now and i'd say that they are really helpful so this is the garnier is garnier whole blends is their whole blends line and is they have the like a wide range of the whole blends hair care line if you guys didn't know and Garnier is black girl friendly so it's your it's friendly for your curls friendly for natural hair it's like rich you know because natural hair and like black hair is thick so it needs like food basically so this stuff is heavy it's see it has oat this is the oat delicacy it has oat milk and rice cream extract it suits hydrate and protect your hair one thing i realized with my hair is that it's so dry for whatever reason i do not know but it just happens to be so dry so this stuff has been really helpful it's paraben free and i mean it's like natural like paraben free uh i don't know pet friendly you know right now consume uh, recyclable all of that stuff so Ghani is a company that you know that you can always trust so i'll use that shampoo to wash my hair i use their shampoo and their conditioner that's just it i'm i'm really simple like that i don't do too much with my hair on some occasions i'll go in and like treat my hair you know with like avocado and oils and stuff but when i'm lazy their conditioner is very rich and heavy so <clears throat> it just like gets the job done so there's not so much like debt honestly but because i have dandruff i'm just going to like try to massage my scalp And then my hairline, because I use a lot of got to be, because I always, not always, but I mean for work, I use my wig, my front house, so. This process is like really soothing, trust me, when you're washing your hair try to massage your scalp even with a conditioner maybe your oil is so good and it helps with like blood circulation and all of that so i'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then because my hair is short getting to my scalp is like very easy so i don't have to do two three washes to get like all the depth out so i'm honestly just going to do just this one wash to get the excess color off and then the depth as well and then i'll do condition as well so the condition will also take whatever is left off so it's still two washes anyway so shampoo is done in all of my hair now we're gonna go in with the conditioner so this is the whole blends gentle conditioner same formula same ingredient same shebang <laughs> and this is the formula like is really creamy so I take I take this much and then just massage it into my scalp and the, honestly the fact that my hair is short doesn't mean that I treat it I'll treat it any differently from if it was long you know what I mean like it's still hair 
Do you get what I mean? I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel like they don't have to care for their short hair because they cut their hair. So what's the point? The hair is not there. But which hair is there to care for? This is hair. This. This. <laughs> so please. The fact that your hair is short doesn't mean that you, you shouldn't care for it. And plus my hair is colored. So colored hair even needs extra care and like extra attention. And I'm caring for my hairline separately because obviously you guys know I'm dealing with hair loss in my hairline. And it intensified after I had my daughter. So I'm going to blame it on after birth hair loss. So I just put that on. Just so like I have a little... It gives me moisture retention and heat. Heat will help open my pores and moisture will go inside so I'll get moisture. I hope you get it. So I'm just going to turn around so you guys see the all round color. Honestly, only you guys can see. I can't even see this. This is like private viewing. <laughs> but yeah, I also used lukewarm water to still wash my hair just so my pores are still open because my last step that i do is oil so the oil that i use i don't know if this is the best but i'll try to put a photo of it on the screen somewhere i'll try to put a photo of it but it's just jamaican black jbco jamaican black castor oil from hollywood beauty so i'm pretty sure you already know the whole Shebang for Jamaican black castor oil strengthens your hair, conditions your hair, nourishes your scalp, promotes hair growth. I'm going to put that in my hair basically. And I use a lot. I just like soak my especially when I color my hair. I use it every day, but when I color my hair, I just do extra. And then I massage it into my scalp just the same process like i just massage every product into my scalp make sure that it's getting in there i'm getting what the bottle says that it does basically <laughs> so some more put it in there especially my edges and today I'm not going to go anywhere, so I'm not putting on any lace front, nothing. So today is a perfect day to actually do this process because then my hair gets to rip every benefit without me having to wake up tomorrow morning to just have a wig on. So I wanted to show you guys, I mean, I finished washing my hair and I didn't do an outro for the video. So I wanted to show you guys my hair. This is how my hair looks when i style it so what i do is that i use i think i already said that said it i use the the gel thingy the eco styler eco styler gel and sometimes mousse sometimes just basic mousse gets the job done mousse actually works better than eco styler eco styler can leave them white stuff in the front sometimes but it works fine as well but i love to use mousse instead so this is how my hair generally looks on a daily when i have put it away and like in place so it's like tight and has like a little wave and all of that stuff so thank you so much for watching this video if this is something that you like i mean if you liked the video Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.